She's here to find out if she has what it takes to make it as one of the most sought after dogs in the country. Is she fit, healthy, intelligent, and above all the right character to be a guide dog for the blind? The first test is to see how she'll respond to an unfamiliar, slightly scary sound. She should react, but not panic. Very good. Nice. Sat, watch that very intently. Really? The most crucial trait is loyalty, looking to her owner at all times and in all situations. Puppy. And it seems like she's got what it takes. Okay. You might wonder if your dog could qualify to be a guide dog. You can get an idea by observing them. Research has shown that dogs are left or right pawed. Are you left footer, Max? Hey, is your left footer? No. You can test this by watching closely to see which paw they step off with. I think that was a right foot started. Yeah. Yeah, she's left footed, isn't she? You're left handed. OK, let's go. I think we've proven there in that unbiased test that it was his right foot that came forward. Preliminary research has shown that right pawed dogs are statistically more likely to pass their guide dog test. You'd get them run over with a bus, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> There's another clue to the chances of them passing in the swirls of hair on your dog. And it all depends which way they turn. Clockwise. Anticlockwise. If your dog is right poured and the swirl goes anticlockwise, then your dog is more likely to be calm, confident and self-assured. Exactly the traits that a guide dog needs. Do you want to be a guide dog? You could be a blind dog for the guides. And if your dog is left-poured, be prepared for some creative solutions to your problems. 